What's going on everyone? So today we're going to be talking about seven tips to make the weight loss process easier because we all know if it's easier you're going to be more successful. So number one to me is finding substitutes. As you can see here, you know, instead of maybe your traditional maple syrup, you can get one that's literally a third the calories, the sugars, the carbs by switching to an E.D. Smith substitute. You know, switching out um, full fat popcorn to low fat popcorn. So, you know, the list is endless. We've done a ton of video on great macro hacks. You can check that out down below. But finding these substitutes, you can eat the same foods with way less calories and therefore eat more calories throughout the day. And number two tip, this is so important, this is something a lot of people overlook. There's a massive difference between 400 calories of Pop-Tarts versus 400 calories of veggies. Satiety is so important because when you are in a deficit, you're trying to lose weight, without a doubt you're going to be hungry. So if you can find those ways to satisfy yourself, provide yourself with lots of fiber, lots of protein, lots of nutrients, I find a lot of people overlook it. They're just trying to find any food that fits within their macros, but you really have to pay attention to the actual quantity, the quality, all that good stuff, get the right portions. This is something a lot of people overlook, so implement this and you'll succeed for sure. Number three is one of my favorite tips, is plan ahead. You know, preparation leads to success. By actually mapping out your day and knowing what's going on, it really helps out. You know, if you're just going through the day, you eat something, you log in, you're like, shoot, I'm way over my caloric intake, uh, that's gonna put you in a bad position, right? Whereas if you map everything out in the morning, you start to guesstimate your day, maybe having this for lunch, just for dinner, and even if these things change, you can adjust them before you eat it. So by actually planning ahead with your diet, you know, when you're gonna have your meals, where you're gonna have your meals, you're gonna ensure you're not stranded without a paddle, you're gonna be fully prepared to succeed. And number four, once again, this one is super important. I feel like every single tip is so important because they all play a massive role in helping you keep the weight off long-term, sustainably, and just for the rest of your life. You know, a lot of times, Studies have shown that most people that do lose the weight, that's not the hard part. The hard part is actually keeping it off after that cut. So one of the biggest tips is just having proper structure. So as an online coach, what I do to set all of my clients up for success, and even myself, is at the start of the week I know exactly what my macros are, how much protein I'm aiming for, how many calories, I give myself a calorie range, I know exactly how many cardio sessions I'm going to be doing within a week, and then on top of that, even what days I'm strength training, having a proper program. I've messed up big time in the past by not having actual structure. So I highly recommend because a lot of times it can be tough if you go into the week and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do a bit of cardio and then at the end of the week comes, you've done no cardio, you've done no strength training. So just making sure you have some assistance or at least you have that structure in place, it'll set you up for great success. Oh wow, sorry I didn't see you guys there. Number five. Common mistake is no resistance training. A lot of you really need to take this into consideration, especially if you want to shape the body and see the results that you deserve. So sometimes people start a weight loss cycle, they cut their calories from here to here, you know, just salads, that's it. They do endless amount of cardio and zero resistance or strength training at all. This is a massive mistake and strength training a minimum of three times per week is definitely recommended. It's what's actually gonna keep your body uh, in the shape that you want it to. It's what's gonna actually give you the curves that you want and just keep that fullness and make you look really, really good. So a lot of times people end a cycle, they lose 15 pounds, more than half of its muscle. They look in the mirror, they're like, what? Why do I still look worse or even like just as bad as before? When in reality, if you can keep all your muscle mass on and maybe only lose a little bit of muscle within the process, you're gonna look so good afterwards. You're gonna be able to eat more calories afterwards because you're gonna be maintaining all that muscle mass. It's a really good hack that I feel like a lot of people are neglecting and you need to be adding into your routine. And number six is hiring a coach. I'm telling you, with all these tips, you know, they sound great, the whole macros and cardio and weight training and stuff, but the issue is we need someone to hold us accountable. Let's take a look at this wall over here. Right here, right here. We got all the top basketball players that have ever played. They all had coaches. They all had someone to create a direction for them. Every single professional athlete. I don't care who you are. We need someone to create a game plan for us to succeed within the future. Okay. A lot of times we make emotional decisions within our journey. Let's say one week the scale doesn't go down. You're having 1,600 calories. You decide to bring it under a thousand because you're like, wow, the scale didn't go down. Myself as a coach, my goal is to be like, hey, you know what? You know, we are still down on average, we still did this, okay, you were stress eating, okay, maybe you had your period, there's so many different things, but just having that reassurance, that accountability, that structure, it's so huge. I don't care who the coach is that you hire, it can be me, it can be Josh, it can be anyone, just get some accountability, even if it's for one to two months, to set you up for success, and it will benefit you so, so, so long in the future. So seven is gonna be a little bonus, a little two-parter. These are two things people overlook in their diet. I especially find this with my coaching clients. Usually when I fix these two things, good things start happening. 
they go hand in hand. Number one is actually staying hydrated. Are you getting enough water? You would be shocked how many people are not getting enough water. Uh, we started a 60 day tread challenge with our community and everyone's like, oh, it'll be easy. You know, we had everyone doing three to four liters of water a day. And most people were like, I realized before this, I was probably doing less than one liter. Water is what's gonna help your body stay like hydrated, really function properly, push ATP to the muscles, get everything going. And if you neglect it, you're just gonna feel more hungry. You're not gonna feel right. You know, it's really just gonna push you out of place. So make sure you're getting enough water in your diet. The little bonus, the little 7.5 is fiber. A lot of people overlook fiber, but fiber actually bonds with water to be very filling in the stomach. It helps regulate bowel movements. It has such an important place in the diet, but most people do overlook it. You know, if you're really low in fiber, really look into high fiber foods or perhaps a fiber supplement if you are really deep in a deficit. But thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully we helped you learn how to lose weight a little bit easier because that's what it's all about. We'd also love to help you lose that weight easier. So definitely click down below to get started with that summer special. We'll see you in the next video. Please smash like and subscribe. Peace out.